Gibson. Y'all make some noise for her. Ice House Pasadena, make some noise for yourselves up in here. I'm DJ Camouflage, guys. I've been DJing for a really long time now. Um, I've DJed everywhere, LA, OC, Vegas. I go across the country to DJ sometimes. And I just see some really funny stuff every time I DJ, just stuff that I feel like everybody could relate to. Uh, one of the funniest things I see literally every time I DJ is that girl that's just way too drunk right at the beginning of the night. Like before the club even opens, right? She comes stumbling in. They don't really know how she got in in the first place and shit. And she, the best thing about her is she has, stumbles in and she always has to come straight to me. She has to come straight to the DJ booth, right? Because she comes stumbling in, she comes straight to the DJ booth. Because th my favorite thing about this girl is she thinks she knows what the club needs for the night. <laughs> you know, like she should be running this shit, you know? So she always comes up and she has some like mediocre request, like, oh my God, if you played some Madonna right now, Everybody will go fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm like, Madonna, cool, it's a hip hop night, but thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> and she always has her four friends right there that gotta apologize for her. You know what I mean? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like they got in, but they didn't drink. You know, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and it's always the same thing, right? It's her birthday, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Because ladies, y'all will be classy 364 days out of the year, but on your birthdays, y'all could give a fuck, right? <laughs> Woo! It's like, all bets are off, it's my fucking birthday. <laughs> she always wants to hear Madonna, or she wants like one of those girl empowerment songs. Play some girl empowerment songs. Play Katy, Katy Perry. Play some Beyonce, girl empowerment songs. <laughs> Fellas, what about guy empowerment songs? There's no guy empowerment songs, right? It's a myth. Cause we always feel like we're the shit. <laughs> we don't need no guy empowerment songs, right? Well, yeah, I'm the shit, even if we're not. The closest thing to a guy empowerment song is move, bitch, get out the way, get out the way. Cause when you feel like you're the shit, you want the bitches to get out of your way. <laughs> By the way, if you walk in the club and the DJ's not on his phone texting, just stay at that club. That's gonna be a good club for the night. There's a phenomenon going on. Here's the thing, because my friends will text me about my shows. You know, they'll come to my shows, they want to get info for the shows. And they'll text me, hey man, we're here, come outside and get us in, come outside and get us in. But my friends will text me to come outside and get them in while I'm on stage doing my thing. <laughs> like I'll tell them, like, hey man, I'm performing from this time to this time. And they'll text me during that time, hey man, we're outside, come and get us in. Like I guarantee you right now, while I'm up here doing this, I got a friend that's telling me to come outside and get them in. <laughs> You know, and that's fine, I get it. Like, my friends are trying to keep up with me. It's in my best interest to come, they're trying to come to the shows. I get it, right? But I just met, like, does that go into the future? Like, does that continue? You know what I mean? Like, the people who have made it, you know, the big celebrities and stuff like that, do they still have friends from back in the day that text them to come outside and get them in? <laughs> you know, like, I'm imagining, like, Justin Timberlake at the Staples Center. You know, it's the biggest <laughs> show of his life. Right, he's standing backstage, curtains are closed, he looks out from behind the curtains, he's like, oh my God, this is the biggest show of my life. I can't believe this, this is the biggest show of my life. So many people here, this is the biggest show of my life. <laughs> and then he goes to step out, <laughs> Hey fag, we're outside, come get us in. <laughs> All right, perfect, thank you. Ladies love being on their phones because they love that social media. Ladies love social media. Ladies, make some noise if you got Instagram. <laughs> ladies love that Instagram, right? Ladies love Instagram, but one thing ladies love is they love posting themselves exercising on Instagram. <laughs> I don't know why ladies love exercising on Instagram. <laughs> the thing is, it's always the same video, right? Fellas, you know what I'm talking about. This is every girl's Instagram video, right? Every girl Instagram video is this right here. It's just this. It's just this. And there's no weights, like she's not breaking a sweat. You don't really know like how this is exercise. And she should just write right here, like look at my ass, right? But she doesn't, she puts some motivational quote, like with great power comes great responsibility. You're like, what does that, what does that have to do with anything? Right, and I love my phone, but the thing is I just hate the iPhone commercials. I love the iPhone, I just hate the iPhone commercials. 
You know, like, I'll be, like in the commercials, it's like, hey, Siri, do this, and it does it. Hey, Siri, find this, and it finds it. My phone never understands anything I fucking say. <laughs> like, I'll be like, hey, Siri, show me some recipes for asparagus. It's like, but it, I found 23 articles in Asperger's syndrome. <laughs> okay. I'll be like, hey, Siri, do you have any reminders today? It'll be like, but it, I found three articles on Ryan Gosling is gay. <laughs> Perfect. I'll be like, uh, all right, hey, Siri, find Target near me. It'll be like, but it, I found three locations for Chronic near you. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> all right, we'll check that out. You guys, that's my time. I'm gonna go back and do a little bit of that right now. I lost my grandfather a couple of days ago, and he was a big fan of doing and saying whatever the fuck you want, and so this is for him. I appreciate it, guys. Make some nice Haiti Gibson and the rest of your colleagues. I'm DJ Camouflage. <laughs>